my name is Marcel Liana, and my presentation will be on Lanikai Beach. Lanikai is located on the east side of Oahu, developed from the Ko'olau Shield Volcano and from the offshore reef and the two smaller islands. The Lanikai Beach is one of Hawaii's most beautiful beaches. It is also the most photographed, and it's famous for its sunrises and moonrises. A lot of people kayak, canoe paddle, sail, windsurf, and swim at this beach. The original real name for the Hawaiian land, Lanikai, was actually called Ka'ohao. Ka'ohao in Hawaiian means tying together or joining together. In 1925, Charles R. Frazier, a Honolulu businessman, bought 111 acres of beachfront property at the south end of Kailua Bay. In 1926, he purchased an additional 200 acres from Monowili Ranch. He developed it as a subdivision and created the Lanikai community as it exists today. There are 10 beach access entrances on Mokulua Drive that lead to Lanikai Beach. The developer, Charles R. Frazier, changed the original Hawaiian name for the land from Ka'ohao to Lanikai. Thinking the new name meant Heavenly Sea, actually Lanikai as written in Hawaiian means Sea Heaven. If it was meant to mean Heavenly Sea, then the proper Hawaiian name would have been Kailani. In Hawaiian, the adjective should follow the noun. The Lanikai's wide fringing reef extends almost half a mile out to sea that functions like a breakwater, diffusing most of the wave energy before it reaches the beach. The ocean bottom slopes gently to overhead depths along the entire beach. This contour ordinarily would encourage small trade winds and generate surf, but it usually is a surf-free beach. This straight, white, fine sand beach is approximately one mile long. It narrows at both ends and widens in the middle. It's the best swimming beach in Hawaii. The water is clear and not clouded by stream runoff. There are two islands at the south end of the beach known as the Mokulua Islands, or for short, the Moks or the Twin Islands. The large island is called Mokonui, which consists of white sand. And the small island is called Mokuiki, that has a pebble beach. Both are part of Hawaii's state seabird sanctuary, and landing is only permitted on the beach of the larger island. The north and south end of the beach has lost a lot of its precious white fine sand and suffered severe erosion problems, threatening a number of houses. It is nearly half the size it once was. According to the geologists, they warn us that the problem will get significantly worse in the coming decades as global warming causes sea levels to rise more rapidly. Other causes to erosion include storms and human actions, like the construction of seawalls, jetties, and the dredging of the stream. These disrupt the natural flow of sand. Seawalls have been proven to be ineffective against beach loss. Without sand nourishment to replenish the beach, the beach is lost. The seawalls may protect the homes, but it can't produce sand. Pushing the ocean inland along coastal areas, there is an abandoned hope for Lanikai because they are already lined with seawalls and are badly eroded. The life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. 